I guess we're gonna visit all the houses and just see if there's anything to do. Can we visit our grandma? She's really going at it. Hey, have you guys seen my idiot little brother, Angel? Oh, everybody is related, aren't they? I gave him some money and sent him out to, on some errands this morning, but he hasn't come back yet. Knowing him, he probably just forgot. If you could find him, could you check up on him? Tell him his sister is growing impatient. Um, he's probably spending the money on candy or something. Everybody loves candy around here. So this is probably Angel's room. Do you want to look through faux facts? Faux facts by Angel. I'm artist. Scary. Number one predator. Stupid, smelly, stinky. Poop. Ew. Okay, so that's his sister. Who's that? Is that Kel? Knife, quiet, mystery. Oh god, that's Sunny. What the hell? Thank you for reading. What the fuck? I think we should stay away from this guy. Yeah. I think we should stay away from him. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Lots of balloons. Tales lady. Oh, hello. I remember you. You're the boy who chose the chose the wallpaper for our house. I see you brought your friends. If you're here for the party, I'm sorry. It's still a little bit early. Oh, shoot. That's our bad. We'll just come back later. Hmm? Huh? Do you guys smell that? It smells like something is burning. <coughs> sorry. One second. Actually, um... You guys wouldn't happen to know how to cook, would you? I might need a little help with dinner. You need help cooking? Well, today is your lucky day. My brother Hero is an amazing cook. He'll definitely be able to cook something right up. <laughs> huh? I, I will? Oh, thank you. Please, come inside. What's in the fridge? What are we working with here? Grocery bags full of food and a container of margarine. Okay, well that's not very specific, but I'm sure Hero can work with it. Sorry to trouble you like this. It's my first time cooking for so many people, so I'm a little nervous. No worries. We'll help you out, won't we guys? Won't we? Oh. All right, then. Come on, team. I'm gonna put all of you to work. Huh? W wait a sec. Even me? Yeah, of course. We used to cook together all the time when we were kids, didn't we? Thank you so much. Feel free to use any ingredients. I don't have a lot, though. Don't worry. I know we... Oh, uh, don't worry. I know we can make something delicious. Let's get to work. Aye, aye, Captain. Wow, that's what smells so delicious in here. Oh, hello, Sean. Our new friends were just helping me prepare dinner for tonight's party. Well, it looks like you guys are doing a great job. I'm done setting up outside, so let me help too. Yay! All of us, now all of us can cook together. Look at that turkey. Phew, all done. 
With your help, this party is going to be a great success. <coughs> Thank you for all your help again. You're all such genuinely nice people. Anytime. Thanks for trusting us with your kitchen. We really enjoyed cooking with you guys. Yeah, this was really fun. Can't wait to eat everything at the party tonight. We'll be waiting for you. Take care of yourselves. Oh, I gotta rate your beds. Ooh. This bed seems a bit much. You would rate it a 5 out of 10 just based off of the design. <laughs> Sunny said it's a little bit gaudy. Okay, what's in here? Oh, oh they have a small house. But it should be just the right size for them. Hi, Joe. What's up? Is this the guy who is fixing his leak? Wonder how he's getting along. Mincy is diligently sketching away. Oh, I'm afraid I won't be holding a sermon today, but feel free to use this place to collect your thoughts. Everyone is welcome here. The spirits have been howling all day. I pray for this neighborhood. Someone will be grieving tonight. Please don't say that. This grave could have used some flowers. Do you want to leave flowers at the grave? Yes. Do I have any? Oh, no. Come on. Don't. No, not dialogue. All right, not here. Not now. Okay. Hey, Mari. It's me again. Sunny, Kel, and Hero are with me this time. Do you visit Mari's grave a lot, Aubrey? Yeah, I try to, although some days it's a little hard. You guys visit sometimes too, don't you? Every now and then, but maybe I should have visited more often. Hey, Hero, how are you feeling? I'm okay. I'm glad we're all here to see her. Oh, gosh. This is... Oh. Hero. Hey, Mari. I'm sorry I haven't visited you yet. I was being selfish, I think. Oh, this is the first time to visit. Please. Stop. Okay, I can get through this. It's been so long, but I still miss you more than ever. I'm... I'm sorry I wasn't there. I'm... Oh, look at his face! Hero's always smiling! I'm just... Really sorry. Hero, you don't have to be so hard on yourself. Yeah, we're here for you if you ever need us. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Don't worry about me too much, okay? Here, this is for you, Mari. From all of us. Do you want to have a picnic with Mari? <laughs> what? Why are they making it worse? <laughs> That's fucked up. That's fucked up, game. Ugh. <sighs> It doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right. Having a picnic without her. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, okay. 
We can get through this. We can get through it. It's fine. It's been an hour. Whew, let's take a break. 6.30, okay. All right, let's cat. Okay, um, let's take a break. <laughs> uh, all right, so what were we doing? Let's, let's go down this way. See if we can do any tutoring. No response. I didn't really want to do any math tutoring anyways. Is this the uh, American household? Which one is this? Who are these people? Is anybody home? Avocados, eggs, blueberries, and grapefruit. Oh my gosh, sounds like... <laughs> sounds like what I eat all the time. This is the the scissors lady, the shears lady. That was like the last time we yeah, and then honestly, I think that definitely school principal as I was saying, can you believe and her but then mhm. Mm Why aren't you guys watching your children? This picture before oh red glasses lady is Kim's mom ah. I mean yeah I guess it makes sense all the all of Aubrey's new friends are gonna be living here in one of these houses right I found a coin <laughs> That boy just ain't gonna quit. Rice, string beans, and dumplings. Oh, they're making me hungry. My big brother Michael told me he's leaving home today to become a musician. I wasn't supposed to, but I accidentally told dad about it. I hope Michael won't be mad at me. Michael. Do we know a Michael? Like I'm I'm forgetting something here. <gasps> Grandma! Grandma, are you here? Grandma! Here's this guy. Step back, you omnipot omnipotent worm! I almost maimed you! My condolences. My time in the arena have, have has left me on the edge. I'm a bit of a gladiator, as it were. Ah, oh, I remember my days in the constable. How I perpetuated my powers of impunity on the unsuspecting combatants that decided to, to traverse their souls into the barest of my... Blech. No hands. I need not the shelter of a mighty utensil, but the beret of the crowd as they erode for more. Just be careful around me. I'm dangerous. 
I think you're a hazard to yourself more than anything else. Granny, there she is. Oh, I see you've made friends. Hello, welcome. You're all so nice to visit a lonely old lady on such a nice day. I'm sure there are much better things you could be doing with your time. Definitely not. Definitely not. Look at all of us together. The bread making family. Here he is. I've been trying all day to beat this video game, but it's kicking my butt. Why is it so hard to find something that I, the Maverick, <coughs> am actually good at? Meow. What do you what is he playing? Are the twins home? Nobody's home. Unless they're hiding. But probably not. They're probably working at the bakery. All American guys' eyes are fixated on the TV. Number 85 was wide open! What kind of a pass was that? It must be Sunday night football. We don't want to progress the story, so I don't know if we want to go to their house or our house. I think we're ready to go check out the park. Deliver some pizzas. Hmm, looks like the bus is late today. Intimidating girl. When Baby told me about her crush, I had to see him for myself. So far, he's a no-show, but Baby told me that we're looking for someone with an obviously fake blonde wig. Baby has pretty bad taste in guys. Who's gonna look after her when I go back to college? I told my big sister about my crush. She wanted me to show him to her, so we're standing around where he usually hangs out with his friends. Uh, yep, they're here, but he's not. He's trying to beat a video game and failing at it. Hey, well, looky here. It's Aubrey and the nerds. Hey, Kim. How's it hanging? Oh, you know, pretty good, pretty good. My dad said he's gonna take us to a sick party tonight. Should be cool. Oh yeah, we're gonna party. Kim has a lot of talk, but she's got a big heart. And me, I got some big muscles. Okay, bro. Hey, Sunny. Sorry I was so mean to you before. I think seeing you just caught me by surprise. Well, I guess that's a pretty crappy excuse. I hope you've been doing okay and stuff. I'm sure everything was really hard for you to deal with. Sometimes I think I was the one that should have been there for you. I don't know if we'll really ever get over Mari's death, but it's okay to take it slow, to allow yourself to feel every emotion, and to have patience. Anyway, I just want you to know that I still care about you and stuff. I've been thinking about this since I saw you, but I think you're looking a little pale and kind of thin too. After you move, promise me you'll go outside more often, okay? 
Aw, why does he have to move when he's getting reconnected with everybody? Hey, bub, could you spare a few nickels? I'll give you a dollar. Smelly hobo. There you go. Have fun. Life's been kind of stressful lately, but people watching... You really say the same thing every day, don't you? Oh, I forgot to pick up trash. Oh, well, here you go. Eight dollars. The orange cat looks hungry. Feed it fish? Yes. I don't have fish. Aww. Shell. <clears throat> Picnic time. Hey, Aubrey. What do you want, Kel? I've been thinking. We got into fight. We get into fights all the time, huh? Yeah, we do. But even after everything, we're still friends, right? Yeah. I guess we are. Huh. Isn't that weird? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> oh, you two. That just means you two are really comfortable around each other. I'm a little jealous you two can be so candid even after all this time. I think that's something really special. Really? I was just about to say that I find it kind of annoying. Ugh. You're such an idiot. Well, that's Cal for ya. Group of pinwheels. I guess maybe we could try to buy some fish from the market. Kel's dad. <laughs> ah, Doug Garnet. Kel, your old man is such a fool. We're at a beautiful picnic and I forgot <coughs> the most important ingredient. Meat! Could you spare some time and buy some of the good old cheap stuff at the other mart? Here's some cash. Just talk to the meat man in the back. He'll hook you right up. $20. I got you. Well, hello, boys. Good to see you're finally spending some quality time with me. Please stay for a while. We're having the best weather today. Sorry, I gotta go get some meat. Very important. I'll get this trash out of your way, though. All right, we got to deliver some pizzas. Hey, Angel, your sister's looking for you. She said she sent you out on some errands earlier today. Huh? Errands? What errands? Oh, crap! I forgot I was supposed to buy some art supplies for her this morning. Uh, uh-oh. So that's why I had that money in my pocket. Oops. Hey, uh, when you were talking to my sister, did she look angry? Yeah, a little bit. She did? Hmm. Should I go bother going back home then? Is it even worth it at this point? Ah, no, if I keep running away, it'll only make things worse. Come on, Angel. You have to face your fears head on. Onward, Angel! You can do this! Blah! I would have spared you some money. This place is kind of small, but it has a lot of old and rare collectibles. People even come all the way from the city to shop here. Yep, yep. 
Let's read comics together. Cute. Hobbies isn't just a hobby shop, it's a pawn shop too. I'll buy anything you don't want. Um, I don't really want to sell anything to you. How much money do I have? $137? Really care about the music actually you let's help you reach your goal five dollars looks like I still have quite a bit to go no don't play me a song don't play me a song oh can I not Okay, okay, okay. Ten dollars. Yes, I'm getting closer and closer to getting my ticket out of here. Thank you. Oh, he's still not there yet, huh? Ten dollars. I'm almost there, just a little bit more. I don't want to hear your stupid song. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. give you five bucks whoa thank you for everything with that last donation it looks like I'll finally be able to leave town I don't think I have much to pack so I'll probably be leaving pretty soon I should say goodbye to everyone but I don't even know how I'm going to break it to my dad I'll probably let my little sister joy know first hey we did it I'm Rai. I take pride in being a musical connoisseur. Oh. Dang it. I'm trying to fix this old arcade machine, but I'm missing a rare and important piece. It looks like it was just bitten off right here. wonder where it could be. Bitten off. Pizza. Pizza. Oh my god. I'm, I'm just... I want pizza! Did anybody eat pizza it recently? Oh man, it looks so good! It's just like a few pixels, but it just looks so good! How is that possible? You'll eat pizza tomorrow? What do I want on my pizza? Cheese and pepperoni! That's all I want. Pepperoni pizza is my favorite. Kel ate the whole thing. <laughs> Kel, you're supposed to save some for everybody else. Let's uh let's deliver some pizzas. Let me guess. The bad news is your delivery boy, I think you should check on him, make sure he's okay. Maybe he got COVID. All right, I'm a professional at this. <coughs> you like to do bacon, jalapenos, onions, with white sauce instead of red. That sounds good, too. 
All that stuff sounds good. Okay, find the house with the plants on the driveway and the garbage lined up in the front. Plants on driveway. Does this count as a driveway? Garbage cans lined out up front? Yeah, I guess that's the closest to a driveway we're gonna get. I think it's this first house. Pizza delivery! Delicious, delicious pizza! Coming for you, baby! Next one! Find the house with the garbage on the left side and the hoops hoops in the yard? Garbage on left side. Left side and hoops in the yard. Pizza delivery! What took you so long? Gino's pizza is really slipping these days. Bitch! Give me that pizza back! Not like you can order pizza from anywhere else. Just deal with it. <coughs> Please find the house with the yellow car out front and the mulch in the yard. Yellow car and mulch. Blue car, pink car. Gray car, white car. Is that yellow? That's tan. I guess this... I guess it's gotta be this one. You said yellow car, right? <laughs> and mulch? I mean, there's... I think that's mulch, right? I don't know. You're getting a pizza. Hope you're the right pizza person. Pizza's here? Great. Just leave it on the floor. I'll come and get it. Ten out of ten. I got twenty dollars. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, I think we've done everything that I want to do, really. So do we... Oh, let's... Let's, um, actually... Hold on a second. I want to buy a drink. Hmm. No. No. Not this one. What? You're buying soda, but you're passing on good old Orange Joe? How could you? Ew, you still drink Orange Joe? It's so grossly sweet. Like it was made for babies. Says the girl who's wanting to buy a freaking soda. Oh yeah. If it was made for babies, why would it contain 150 milligram milligrams of caffeine per can? <sighs> Do your research, Aubrey. Huh, whatever. Everyone knows Orange Joe tastes putrid. You're probably the only person in the world who buys this crap. Well, now you're getting personal. How dare you insult my dear friend, Orange Joe? When was the last time you even tried it? Ugh, I'll show you. Kel, what are you doing? Hey, this can's design is from like five years ago and it's expired. I told you, no one buys this stuff. Worry not, my dear friend. <coughs> Orange Joe, no matter what, I'll still drink you. Mmm. Delicious. <sighs> You're gross. <laughs> and you owe me a dollar. Yeah, yeah. I'll give it to you later. Alright, have, um, 
your your meat. Thanks, champ. This is just what I was looking for. I'll make it'll make for some tasty hamburgers. You shall drop by in the evening. You'll definitely want to try some of this deliciousness. But for now, go on and enjoy yourselves. The weather's great today. Bro. Let's feed the catfish. Her meow. The cat left a gift for you. You got trash. Oh, thanks. I can I spent like what seven dollars on fish and I can exchange this trash for a whole dollar Okay, so maybe now we can go to Kel's Kel and Hero's house Is this their house? I progress the story maybe I go maybe we go see the tree house all right let's check out the tree house see if we can do that oh we could save saving is good Looks like the sun is about to set. Did you want to go see the treehouse now, Sunny? Let's do it. Wow. I guess you really are moving away, huh, Sunny? When I see the empty house, it all feels so sudden. But for you, <coughs> moving away must have been a long time coming. I hope you can find some peace out there. Or, you know, some happiness. There have been a lot of things that were unsaid these past few years. And painful memories that we kept to ourselves. But even through all that, I'm relieved that we were still able to become friends again. I'm happy that we're all here, so that we can face this together. Oh, Hero's gonna cry again. It's okay, Hero. I'll go first. But Basil's not here. Hey, Sunny, when you move away, do you think it'd be too much trouble if you could... Aubrey! Sunny! Are you guys coming? Actually, never mind. It's nothing. Dang it, Cal! Mm, Cal! Damn, we have a big ass backyard. Toys long forgotten, discolored by weather. Uh, is that the tree house? Oh. Oh no. This is where Mari. Yeah. It is. It feels like forever ago. But I can still remember that day perfectly. That... That day was really busy. In the morning, I went out with mom to buy some nice clothes and shoes. We spent all day shopping and didn't get home until the afternoon. I remember that day too. I went out to get a haircut with dad. Oh yeah, you were there with your dad too, Aubrey. We were preparing for something, weren't we? Yeah, we were. We were going to watch Mari and Sunny's music recital. It was supposed to be that night. But when we came home in the evening...
Please tell me that they just heard about what she did and didn't af actually see it. Even after all this time, I still don't understand why she would do it. I... I don't think any of us ever will. Hero, don't cry. Hey, guys, let's... let's keep going. Oh. Okay. Treehouse. It's looking a little overrun. Wow, this place has seen better days, but it looks like everything is right where we left it. All our old stuff is still here. Hey, look, it's our playing cards. I was the best at card games, wasn't I, guys? Mr. Plant Egg. Oh, you're so dirty. Look at all these old books. So this is where all my cookbooks went. Duh, I think I just stepped on a jack. Oh man, such good times. Hmm. Why did we have a toaster in here? <laughs> Cause we love making toast. Aww. Oh, the, the last picture that was missing, maybe. Don't forget it's in the toy box. Where's the toy box? You put the toy box key in your pocket. Hey, look. Sunny found a photo of us. We all look so happy wasn't there a photo missing from the photo album that must be it hey you're right Kel take out your photo album Sunny we should add it in why is was it here and I, I guess basil I don't know There. Now the photo album is complete again. You know, this is probably the last time that we'll all be here together in this treehouse. Basil's not here! Now that the photo album is complete, we should look through it one last time. Good idea, Hero. The photo album is already out, so we might as well, right, Sunny? Let's start from the beginning. Okay. Okay, doesn't look like there's anything, like, different. Let's just check out the last photo that we put in. This one. Ta-da! All summer we've been working on a treehouse in Sunny's backyard, and today it's finally finished. Hero and his dad did most of the work, but Aubrey and I made paper plants to put in the windowsill. We all did a pretty good job, if I do say so myself. Okay. I'm done, yeah. Oh, Mari. I miss her so much. I... I miss her too. Hey, come on, guys. Why the long faces? Look at all of us, back together again. Mari would be so happy for us. Yeah, you're right. She would be. If only Basil could be here, too. Huh? Hey, Aubrey. What's up? Whoa! Where'd she go? Where's she going?
An old TV. Kel brought it up here, but was pretty bummed <laughs> when he found out he couldn't use it. Yeah, because there's no electricity. <laughs> The date of the recital has passed. Okay, where did she go? You know, after everyone drifted apart, I felt so alone. But now, I realize that I was the one who was pushing everyone away. In the few months after Mari died, everything changed so fast. Sunny and Basil became more closed off. Kel made a bunch of friends playing sports, and Hiro always seemed to be busy studying. I was so angry at how life kept moving on. It felt like everyone abandoned me, and abandoned Mari too. I couldn't see that everyone was dealing with the pain in their own... <coughs> excuse me. In their own way. After Sunny stopped coming to school, I saw Basil sitting alone during lunch. So I asked him if he wanted to study together at his house. He seemed kind of uneasy about it at first. But after I begged him, he agreed. The walk there was really quiet. Basil wouldn't even look at me. And when we got to his room, I tried to talk to him, but he said he had to go to the bathroom and ran off. That's when I spotted his old, old photo album on this bookshelf. I just wanted to go through the photos because, well, I guess I just wanted to see everyone happy again. But when I opened it, Basil had blacked out all the photographs with a marker. I couldn't believe it. He had even blacked out Mari's face. All of our memories together, it felt like he had destroyed them. I was so confused and angry, I thought he was a nutcase. So, instead of trying to understand him, I stole the photo album and started calling him creep and things like that. And eventually, I wasn't the only one calling him names. I feel like scum for that now. But you know what? Ever since then, all I've been doing is trying to cut myself off from everyone. It's kind of funny. What I've been doing is worse than what Basil did, and I'm the only one who is angry at him. How? If he blacked out all the pictures, then how are they okay? <laughs> I'm such an idiot. Sunny backed up, but the other two went forward. Hey, it's okay, Aubrey. We've all made mistakes. At that time, I didn't really understand what was happening. I was afraid that I'd somehow make things worse. So I just decided to stay out of all of it. I'm really sorry, Aubrey. And I'm sorry to you too, Sunny. I was a pretty crappy friend. You were still pretty young then, Kel, but I'm the oldest, so I should have known to take care of everyone. I... I just... Uh, no, it's fine. Everyone's here now, so it's okay. I don't... I don't deserve friends like you! <sighs> Don't be silly, Aubrey. Of course you do. During all this time, it's pretty obvious that you still cared about us. I mean, just look at the photos in the photo album. There's no trace of any black marks you were talking about anywhere. You can see all of our faces just fine. I don't suppose they all just cleaned themselves, did they? It's all right, Aubrey. I promise from now on, I'll always be there for you. Yeah, I promise too. We, <coughs> we 
We should all be here for each other. Hey, you know what? I think this is the perfect time for a group hug. Group hug? Ah, oh, yeah, count me in. Oh, wait, just one second. Ready or not, here we come. <laughs> you too, Sunny. <laughs> Aw, but... Where is Basil? We should go see if Basil is back home later today. I need to apologize to him. And I think right now, he is probably the one that needs us the most. go now seven forty two okay <coughs> um should I keep going or are we at a good stopping point? Well I'm gonna just you know we're gonna we're gonna briskly go through. We're not gonna sprint. We're just we're gonna go at a nice brisk pace. I I don't want to go to sleep and not finish this. I really don't. So <coughs> let me get some water to try to. Help with this cough. Hopefully it won't take more than like an hour and a half, but we'll see. Okay. Oh, what are you doing in the middle of the road? Lady. Oh, oh, you're not really there. Okay. Oh, thank goodness you guys came back. Is something wrong? Well, Basil is back home, but he's not talking to me. Oh no. Is there anything we can do to help? It's a bit hard to say right now. When Basil came back, he went straight to his room and locked the door. I haven't been able to get a word out of him since. Maybe he just needs some time alone, but I don't know. I'm just worried. Could you guys try to talk to him? Of course. We'll do whatever we can to help. Thank you, everyone. Feel free to come in whenever you're ready. I'm gonna regret continuing this tonight, aren't I? I'm gonna, I'm gonna regret it. Please don't make me regret it. Basil has been all by himself recently, so I'm sure he's lonely. It's nice to know that Basil have, has friends who care about so much about him. Hi, Basil. It's Hero. I'm here with Kel, Aubrey, and Sunny. We're all here to see you. Come on, come on. Please, please, please. Is there anything we can do to help? We just wanted to let you know that we're here. Let us know if you need anything, okay? Break the door down. Maybe he just needs some time to himself. I'm really sorry to bother you. But don't worry about it, Polly. We've all been there before. If I've learned anything these past few days, it's that friends should be there for each other. Hey, Basil. This is Aubrey. I just wanted to say that I'm sorry for the way I've been treating you. Will you please say something? 
we just want to know that you're okay. I think we should stay here for him. Yeah. Last time we all made the mistake of leaving each other when we need e needed each other the most. This time, we'll stay together. Polly, do you think we could sleep here for the night? Oh, you are all so kind. Of course you can stay over. I think Basil would really appreciate that. I know it would mean a lot to him. Awesome! I call the couch! Ah, oh, this is all happening so fast! Okay then, since Kel wants the couch, everyone else can have the quilt. We have lots of those. I'll go grab them now. Hmm. Why do you get the couch? Well, duh! It's because I called it first! Ow, that hurt! Basil, why can't you see that everyone is here for you? Uh, where's Grandma? Hey, Sunny, I know this probably wasn't the last night in town you were expecting, but I just want you to know that even though you're moving away tomorrow, we'll always be friends. Ugh, that's so cheesy, hero. Hey, I'm just saying what I'm thinking. <laughs> Hero's always been such a big softy, just like you, Aubrey. Uh, what did you say? <laughs> it's nice to hang out like this again. I've been so busy with school and studying, I don't really have time to make friends anymore. Well, you'll always have us, I guess. See? I was right. Look who's the softy now. Hm. But yeah, it's true. I know we'll always be there for each other. Just like I know that Mari's still here with us, too. You know, I hope we'll be able to see Basil before you leave tomorrow, Sunny. It would be nice to have a proper goodbye. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm getting sleepy. And cue the snoring. <laughs> What the? Is he asleep already? I wish I had that superpower. Yep, that's Kel for you. That part of him hasn't changed a bit. Hey, Sunny. Thank you for everything. It's probably been tough to leave your house after all this time, but I really appreciate you for doing it for us. And hey, tomorrow's the big day. I hope you're not too worried about moving to a new place. If anything... You got us. Life gets better. You just have to stay positive. Hmm. Life gets better, huh? Hey, Sunny. After you move away, you should, like, maybe come visit once in a while or something. Yeah. Then we can all go out for some sandwiches. Or maybe we can all go to the park or the beach or just sit at home and watch TV. Who knows? We can do anything. <laughs> that sounds kind of nice. Do you think my new friends can come too? 
Of course they can, Aubrey. You don't have to ask. The more the merrier, after all. Come on, guys. It's time to sleep already. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good night, guys. Good night, Kel. Good night, Aubrey. Good night, Sunny. See you all in the morning. 